Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the DJI Mini 2 today, and we just had a recent firmware update. What that update number is, I'm gonna have to fire up the app to tell you, so we'll tell you here in a second. Uh, but one of the things that it does is it allows you to uh, change the orientation, the yaw the drone while it's in return to home. Uh, so this isn't going to be a spectacular Friday. I'm out at Heroes Park, but it's a nice uh, sunny day today. We got a little bit of wind, up to 18 mile an hour gusts, but this drone ought to be able to handle that uh, no problem. Eight mile an hour sustained, although right now there's a little bit of a breeze, doesn't feel too bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air, and uh, we'll take a look at that uh, at the firmware numbers and then we'll uh, take the drone out and we'll just uh, try it out and just go for a little fun flight. Okay, I got the drone fired up and the controller fired up. Let's start a screen recording. Got that going and so we should be able to fire up the app here. DJI Fly. And look at that, it says takeoff permitted so we're ready to go right off the bat. Uh, so, takeoff with caution. Yeah, so it's telling us we're in Class E airspace. What that is here is we're about 10 miles away from the Boise Airport, so we have a 150 meter limit. Obviously, we're not going to be that high at all, so we're good to go there. Looks like we got 17 satellites. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, safety menu like I always like to do, make sure we're okay. Uh, we've got the altitude set at 120 meters, and that's actually, I don't like setting it that high. We're going to drop that down just a little bit. 116, so 120 is about max legal. I like setting it under that. Max distance, it's saying, yeah, this must have, this must stuff must have changed when it did the uh, update. So I always set that at no limit. Uh, and then auto return to home altitude, 100 meters is too high for me. I set it at typically 70 or 80, which is pretty high. So we got it at 70. And let me tell you, that is that is high. IMU is normal, compass is normal. Let's go into about and we can look at the uh, firmware update. So uh, the aircraft firmware is 01.02.03001. Uh, just for the fun of it, we can check for updates and see if there's anything new. Firmware is up to date. Let's check the FlySafe database. Firmware is up to date. So we're all good on our firmware. So uh, that's about all we need to do on our, our uh, pre-flight inspection uh, with regard to the readiness of the drone. Uh, let's take a look at the camera. We're in 4K, 30 frames per second. Start recording. Heck, no reason why we can't take off, right? Let's get this bird in the air. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Let's go ahead and hit takeoff uh, on the app. I, I'm so, I, I've been kind of used to flying some of those uh, toy drones where you have to arm the motors first. So I, I, was, I kept thinking here, God, do I need to arm the motors? No, I just need to hit the button. This is DJI. So yeah, hold down that takeoff button. And there's our little mini. Yeah, that thing is a, it is a peach, man. We're gonna turn it around here. And you see the drone kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's kind of... Yeah, you see it kind of jerking around there a little bit? Yeah, okay, it's steadied quite a bit now. I have a theory about that, I talked about that in an earlier video. I think that's the IMU, particularly on a cooler day. The IMU has, that little wire in the IMU has to heat up for it to work uh, correctly. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to do the usual yaw back and forth so you can see that gimbal in action. And, uh, and watch that uh, gimbal when we do our reversing up and you'll see that camera tilt down a little bit as we pitch backwards. So uh, we're going to go uh, do that reverse it up right now. Reverse and up. And you saw that camera pitch down a little bit. Oh my gosh, this drone is so much fun to fly. I just was uh, flying a little toy drone and uh, let me uh, 
drop the gimbal down here just a little bit. I was flying a, uh, a little toy drone, the HS-175 Holy Stone, and it's so refreshing to fly a drone that, uh, that operates like it should. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you, that's why you pay for DJI, I'm telling you. So, you know, as you guys know, I spend a lot of time uh, looking at and, and testing uh, I guess what I would call bargain drones and uh, you know I'm gonna tell you if, if if this drone isn't a bargain I don't know what is looks like we got a clear spot here to get across let's go going across across the street there and we got an aircraft in the air yeah he is above the park here but he is way up there so we have no issues there interesting there's some there's some kind of writing on the bottom of his wings but i can't read them anyway I'd like to see what that is okay but he is uh i'm he is a th probably 1500 feet up there he's way up there so let's move forward here and we're going to go out uh kind of behind the the uh, walmart out here and uh, we'll, uh, we're going to try that return to home and see. And that's kind of me moving the drone sideways while we head forward. In case you were wondering what was going on there. Because I want to clear, go right to that field that's behind the, uh, the Walmart. Staying over the fields here. So we're not bothering anybody. And we're at about 72 meters high or so. So... That's roughly, I don't know, uh, 150 feet, something like that. Or no, excuse me, that would be, uh, I take that back, that would be uh, about, yeah, about 300 feet, so pretty close. Well, no, let me see, 210, no, over 200 feet. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with my math here today. Probably about 250 feet, 240, 250 feet, something like that. Uh, okay, so we are out here. Uh, behind the mega Walmart well you are around here so you can see it yeah look at all those shoppers if that's not a gold mine I don't know what is okay we're gonna hit return to home here and the drone's gonna come back to us and we're gonna see if we can just manually yaw it around while it's on the way home so we hit return to home I didn't hold it down long enough there we go took the command i just didn't hold the button down long enough and the drone turned around facing us and here it comes it's coming back to us at about eight meters nine meters per second ten meters per second it's moving right along uh so let's hit that yaw stick let's yaw side now isn't that cool so we can yaw the drone around i love that I love being able to control the drone when it's coming back. And so it's kind of like a line fly. And I'm going to point us towards uh, Keith Bird Park. You've seen us me fly over there. That's right kind of in the center of the screen there. Keith Bird Park. And that's the new Costco right there. And let's keep you in this direction. And the drone is not wasting any time coming back to us. So we'll be back here in no time. There's that big old Walmart again. Okay, let's swing it on around so that we can uh, point it forward. And here we are over the top of the park. And the drone is just about right above us and we'll start to come down so uh, I'm going to I'm going to cancel landing there we got tons of battery left so that's interesting we know that works right so that's pretty cool let's, uh, let's go ahead and go forward here so I've been taking some pictures out here in this corner of the park with uh, 
I guess I will I'm gonna charitably say uh, less expensive drones uh, so I guess what what we can say with this guy is that it probably has a little bit better uh, camera on it let's point it a little bit towards the Boise front there and I'm gonna stop recording and I'm going to go into photo and uh, let's take a uh, picture here and there it is I like that so click on that again let's go back to uh, well heck let's do a panel what, what, we haven't done that in a while right Let's do let's do a wide angle pano here. This will be a good one. I never get tired of uh, shooting towards those mountains, and and you know this will kind of give you guys a bigger picture of uh, of what the area looks at. So there's that pano. Let's switch to a 180 pano, and that's going to give us kind of like just what it says a. 180 degree view and what I like about this drone is when you look in your camera roll it will give you a standard version of that panel and it will give you an enhanced version and I don't know what magic DJI does but you talk about color grading and all the things that they do uh, it's just phenomenal uh, what they what they do there so we're gonna go back into video mode start uh, video and let's uh, bring the drone turn it around and bring it back to us we got 60 percent battery so let's move on forward here i think we're kind of going into the wind here a little bit that's full stick forward and, and we're at about eight meters per second. You know, uh, I always get a little bit nostalgic when I face the drone this direction because that was always an empty field over there and it was always, I could always fly over that field and, uh, and go out and take some pictures and so forth. But, uh, uh, you know, now with the Costco, I mean, I suppose we could go over the top here uh, where the uh, where the, the LDS church is here and stay over there parking lot. So I'm gonna drop the gimbal down a little bit, throw it into high speed mode, and as soon as we have a gap, we are going to shoot the gap and get across. Looks like we got it. So yeah, we're across. We can stay, avoid those cars there, and then we're going to go sideways over the top and get over the, the empty field here. Yeah, we can do that. We're not over the top of anybody. Yeah, so in sport mode, you saw when I hit forward there, it uh, it gave me that warning that it's it, it tilted the camera uh, down, and that's so it avoids uh, blocking the camera. So this is kind of cool. So we can take a look at this. Look at this. You're making some progress here. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I wondered if I was going to run into you. <laughs> okay. I'm right in the middle of recording a video right now. Can I? I'll, I'd be happy to talk to you in just a sec. Yeah, you've been great. Oh, awesome. Good. Cool. <laughs> cool. Okie dokie. So we're uh, so we're over the top uh, and <laughs> right. We, I just ran into a gentleman that uh, walked up behind me. He's a drone flyer. Happy to see him, but I, I uh, you know, kind of caught me off guard here. So we talked about this over 55 community that they're putting in over here, and there it is. And now you saw the camera. So I'm in sport mode. We're gonna go back to normal mode so we don't get that movement in the gimbal. And yeah, just as I thought, these are high density. They look like duplexes to me. Boy, they sure. When they start building, they don't mess around, man. They make a lot of progress fast. Yeah, 
And then you can see Keith Bird Park uh, across the street there. Okay, let's back it up here a little bit. All right, so let's, uh, we're down to 40% battery. Uh, let's try that uh, return to home again. And, uh, and we're going to try uh, that yaw trick again. I, I like that a lot. So I'm holding down return to home now. And the drone took the command. Looks like it's going to cut over the top of the uh, Costco building, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing illegal about that. And here it comes back to us. I'll tell you, I'm gonna, I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again. It is such a pleasure flying this drone, uh, these DJI products, even this little mini. Yeah, and see, it's, look, you can see we just crossed back into that classy airspace. Uh, but again, it's a 150 meter limit there, so we're good. So let's yaw this baby around. And that's a neat feature. I like that. And we can kind of go sideways here and I can kind of show you uh, the top of this. And it's coming back to us again at about 10 and a half meters per second. So that's pretty good. It's got the, uh, it's got the wind at its back, I believe. I believe the uh, wind is blowing that way. Here we are. And we're back over the park here. Facing towards the sun. Uh, let's just see, let's just see how close this guy gets. Uh, I'm gonna drop the gimbal down here. This drone does not have uh, precision landing, but uh, but it should get pretty close. As you can see, I got the gimbal straight down, so it looks like it's kind of on the corner of the little concrete there. Reorients itself, but it'll change as we get further down. And uh, if, as you can see on the screen recording here, if you ever need to cancel your return to home, you can either do it by hitting that pause button on the controller. Remember that. Yeah, and it looks like it's moved over. Or you can, it says there's an X on the left-hand side of the app. Tap to cancel. It's going to be darn close. So I'm going to get out of the way of the, uh, of the uh, uh, drone here so you guys can see it. Or of the camera, I meant to say. Look, it's going to be, man, we could even hit that pad. We'll see. It's going to be darn close. And it'll, when it gets down to, I think, about two meters, it'll, it'll pick up the, uh, it'll pick up the camera. I think we're going to get on the pad, guys. Look at that. Look at that little guy. And it's pausing, uh, unsuitable for landing. So I don't know why I didn't like that, but we're going to put it in the landing mode. So we're just off of the pad just a little bit there. Uh, so uh, let me uh, stop recording and, uh, and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay. Uh, what a pleasure to fly the DJI Mini 2. Uh, like I said, I just previous to this, I'd been flying a little toy drone and just struggling. <laughs> Not enough struggling is the right word, but it was more difficult to fly. And then you, you take this little guy up and it's just, everything works perfectly. Everything does like it said. It's so smooth, so precise. Just an absolute joy. Uh, so we tried out the new uh, 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 App, or excuse me, the firmware update in the drone, uh, 0 .0300, and what it added is that ability to yaw when it's on return to home, and it worked perfectly, and it, that's just a really cool thing. And then when it's coming back, it's like a line fly. You can skew the drone around and get whatever video you want. Uh, and then just for the fun of it, we went back over by the Costco over there and looked at the progress again that they're making uh, on on the. Uh, uh, over 55 community. They, I mean, that stuff goes up so fast it just blows my mind. Uh, but you know, not, just just a lot of fun. Just any excuse to go fly. So, I guess that's about it.
This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. DJI Mini 2, awesome little piece of tech. See you guys later. Bye.